Welcome everyone to CMC's Trend Tracker. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the ARK Innovation ETF to see if it has potentially bottomed and entered into a new uptrend, and also to use it as an indicator to gauge investors' risk tolerance. I'm also gonna be discussing some Bitcoin mining stocks and going over a concept of relative strength to see which one potentially has some more support by institutions than others. Let's get stuck into the charts. So right now I've got the ARK Innovation ETF on the chart. Now, if you look previously, it was in a massive uptrend. It was a market darling, meaning that a lot of people wanted to get involved in the stock. There was a lot of hype. And since then, uh, a lot of people kind of lost the appetite for a lot of these speculative companies, which this ETF kind of consists of and has been in a significant downtrend since then. And as you can imagine, a lot of people did try to jump in and buy the bottom, but there wasn't really any significant base that was formed previously, hence why any kind of up move that did last was quite short term. But as we can see at the moment, hence the reason why I'm taking a look at it now, there has been quite a significant base that has formed um, as pointed out by the inverse head and shoulders here at the moment as well. So you've got the left shoulder here, the head here and the right shoulder here as well. Um, and you've got a bullish divergence on the awesome oscillator as well. And since then, so this resistance line here, also known as the neckline, it has actually been broken and it's been able to hold above it as well. It does look like it's pulling back to its moving averages as well, but this moving average I've got here on the chart is actually the 21 day and it's still traveling right above that as well. So it does kind of show that there is potentially uh, some demand or some appetite for a bit more riskier speculative stocks at the moment. So the key takeaway from this chart is that it does look like it has bottomed and potentially heading into an uptrend. And you have to remember what is this ETF mainly made up of? Speculative uh, companies. So it can potentially suggest that there is an appetite for speculative growth stocks at the moment. Um, so the next chart I've got up on the screen is actually Riot Platforms. So Riot Platforms is a Bitcoin mining company. Now, Bitcoin and also Bitcoin mining companies do look like they potentially have entered into an uptrend. Now, you may have missed the boat, or maybe it's gonna go straight down from here, I'm not sure. But let's say you did want to get involved in this, but you weren't sure what stock to get involved in. Well, obviously you can go in and you can look at all the companies. Another thing you can also look at is actually relative strength. Now, what that means is what's gonna push up the price of anything is going to be more demand than supply. Now, if you see all of these companies go up, as you can imagine, eventually all things are going to pull back down. And, and, and with that, you're gonna look at maybe the moving averages to see where they're going to pull down to. Now, if I look at Riot, you can see it's pulled down and it's sitting at its 10 day moving average here at the moment, as pointed out by this black line here. Now, if I were to go and have a look at Hut 8 mining, it's managed to pull all the way down to its 21 day moving average. Now, from here, Obviously, no one knows what's going to happen, but what this potentially suggests is that there is a lot more demand or institutional support for Riot platforms, potentially, as if it's pulling back, maybe there's not as much sellers, or maybe there's more demand that's stepping in to actually support it. Um, this also fits nicely with what I was talking about before with the ARK Innovation ETF, because both of these stocks or sectors are quite speculative. And if, they, if we are seeing demand come in for it, well, it does suggest that maybe investors' risk appetite has changed and improved because previously the market was largely led by industrials. And if we're starting to see a shift back to the speculative growth stocks, well, it does suggest that there is a bit more appetite for uh, riskier speculative growth stocks at the moment. All right, so that concludes today's videos. If you would like me to cover any other stocks or any other concepts, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll have a read through them and I'll put it in the next video. Thank you.